finally gotten around to winterizing my tree collards. If you remember, I had a big old tree collard growing out of one of these plants. And there's the remains of it. The last foot of the stalk went into three different stems. Um, what I've done is I cut the tops, I cleaned up the tops, got the leaves cleaned up, and cut off the top foot and stuck those in a couple containers. Here's one. I just cut about a foot long tip off and stuck in the ground. And I've got these plastic covers that I use for the springtime for my tomato plants and my pepper plants. So I'm going to repurpose those for the winter. See if I can overwinter these collards. This is the first year I've done it. So we'll see how it works. Um, I'm going to take one of the tips inside. I've got the tip here. That I'll put in. I'm going to put that next to a southern window and let that overwinter inside. So it'll probably keep growing, but maybe slow. But hopefully it doesn't try to bolt up too much. And I took the remaining stalks of the tree collar and cut them up into about one foot sections and put them in the ground. As you can see here, you just have to make sure those nodes are pointing up. You don't want to plant it upside down or it won't grow. But some of these have some little side shoots, so I have hope for these. Um, this is the plastic covered up, as you can see. I piled some dirt around the sides to seal up the sides, and also some inside to really get a good seal on the bottom to keep that heat in. And you can see on these I did three per container. So we're going to have some 15 degree nights here in the next, tonight actually. That's the reason I'm getting out here and doing this. So we'll see how it works um, come springtime. But I've got uh, three under here too. So I, just, I ran out of those plastic containers so I just used some five gallon buckets. We'll see how that works. And I'm gonna try that also. It's got some holes so a little bit better ventilation. And I'll come out here on the hot days when it warms up and open these up, let it breathe a little bit. But cross my fingers, see how this works. I think it should work pretty good. On the containers, these fit perfect. I was able to just take some extra soil and seal up the edges, almost like a little mortar around the edges. So I think that's really gonna help. Oh yeah, it's nice and warm in there already. It's amazing. I mean, it's probably 70 degrees in there. Like I said, this one's going to go on the window seal, so I think that one will definitely overwinter. All these others are just an experiment since this is my first year growing them. They grew well in the spring and the summertime, and uh, they just don't overwinter well here. And, North Carolina. I could tell it was on its last legs. I think tonight would have really set it over and killed it. But um, that's about it. We'll see, how, see what happens.